Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with the daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. Today, I've spent much of my day doing some reading for my latest seminary class. The book that I'm reading is about Christian testimony, and it got me thinking about these messages, specifically the audience that is hearing these messages. I know that many of our church members are hearing them, but because they're on social media, on Facebook, I'm sure others are hearing them too. Probably some people who knew me in high school or some people who knew me in my 20s and early 30s. Perhaps you're asking yourself, how did that guy who didn't believe in God end up on the path to becoming a pastor? Well, that story starts with a coworker named Mark. Mark was a Christian and shared his faith with me. It wasn't until later that I realized what I was seeing in Mark. Mark never pushed his faith on me, but it was always apparent. And as I started to question what was missing in my life, I began to realize what Mark had. You see, I had all the things that the world tells you you should want. I had a good job, I had a home, two healthy children, and a wonderful wife. But something was missing. That something was hope. Hope is what I was witnessing in Mark. Hebrews says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. I was witnessing Mark's hope in the promises of God, his conviction in Jesus Christ as his Savior. So I went to church. And as I learned more about God and more about Jesus Christ, That hope grew in me. It grew and it grew. And even though there have been some dark times in my Christian walk, including the suicide of some close family members, I can't imagine having navigated those things without that hope, without that knowledge of Jesus Christ, without the hope in the promise of eternal life. During those dark times, I was surrounded by a wonderful church family who also had hope in those convictions and lifted me up. So now I strive to do the same thing, to provide hope to those who need it. Now the old Jesse still lives in me, still have the same insecurities, I still make mistakes, but I do so with the hope of eternal life with a promise of forgiveness. You too can have that hope through faith in Jesus Christ, a hope that supports and encourages, a hope that carries you through dark times, times like these. Peter writes, in 1 Peter, the third chapter, Now who is there to harm you, if you are zealous for what is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. Now you all know the reason for my hope. Hopefully you have found some encouragement, some comfort in these words. If anything, you've learned a little bit about me and a little bit more about Jesus. If we could do anything for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com or you can reach me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.